you're having a question like this on an FAA test, it says hold north of the 360 degree radial left turns. Okay, so first I'm going to draw it. Step one, draw my fix. Step two, draw a line going the direction it says a hold north. Draw a line going north. Then it says we want left turns. Okay, so I come down to the bottom of my fix and I draw a left turn. Draw outbound, then draw your turn back around. Notice you're going outbound, going 360 degrees due north. Inbound, we're going 180 degrees. Perfect. Okay, now to use the thumb rule, I'm gonna go over to my heading indicator depiction and I'm gonna look for my thumb. I'm using my left thumb because it's a left hand hold pattern. So I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna basically look at my thumb, put it halfway up the side of the heading indicator and I can draw an imaginary line across the heading indicator, then draw a line straight down from the middle top of the heading indicator. So there's my thumb halfway up, I draw a line across, I draw a line down from the top, and I label that T for teardrop. Also starts with T for thumb. Over here, this now becomes the parallel area, and down here is direct. Now, I look at my holding pattern I just drew, and what do we see outbound? All right, so we have our fix, drew a line to the north, drew a line coming around with the left turn, going outbound, going back inbound, three, six, zero degrees outbound, one, eight, zero degrees inbound. So three, six, zero, looking for my outbound heading on my heading indicator, I divide it up. So there's three, six, zero, right there at north, and that puts it squarely in the teardrop entry. See the T for teardrop, which I got by putting my thumb on here, drawing my line across, and then looking just to the north, that's teardrop parallel direct. Okay, so that means that the answer for this question is teardrop. And you can use this rule you can use this rule however you like. So if you had a different holding pattern that was assigned to you, you can use this in the airplane as well. If you had a different holding pattern that was assigned. Say for example, you had a holding clearance. I'm just gonna draw one above my HSI so we can see it. Let's say that we were told to maybe hold um, west uh, of the fix on the 270 degree radial. I could draw that out. And with left hand turns, I would look something like this. Okay, so now my outbound heading is 270. My inbound heading is 090. And I could take a look at my HSI. If my airplane is approaching the holding pattern from the south, then I can see that 270, my outbound heading, would fall into the direct area. So here's 270. And I would be making a direct entry to this holding pattern. So I would fly to my fix and just begin my holding pattern with a direct entry. So that's how you can use the thumb rule. And I hope it's helpful to you in solving FAA holding pattern questions. Here's another holding pattern that we can practice drawing. This one says hold east of the vortex on the 0, 0, 0 radial with left turns. So I'm gonna draw it out down here. Here's my fix. It says hold east, so I draw a line going east and it says that we need left turns. So here we are at our VOR. When we get to the VOR, we're making a left turn. So we turn outbound like that, we're going inbound like that, and we're gonna finish the rest of the holding pattern like that. So that means my inbound heading is going to be 270 degrees, and my outbound is gonna be 090 degrees. Here's another example of using the thumb rule to figure out how to enter a holding pattern. So first, you have the clearance that's been given to you. It's hold east on the zero, nine or zero degree radial with left turns. 
and I have drawn that holding pattern here. You can check out my other videos for how to draw holding patterns. But here we are holding east on the 090 degree radial. I'm gonna notice my outbound heading, 090. And then I'm gonna look at my figure from the FAA exam book. And because it says left turns, put my left thumb right here, just above my left thumb. I'm gonna start drawing a line across and then I'll draw a line here just because it's right above my thumb, T for teardrop, P for parallel. Down here is the big area, direct. Now I look at my holding pattern. Notice it's 090 degrees is my outbound heading. If I look at how I've divided up my heading indicator, there is 090 right there, and it falls into the area for parallel entry. So the correct answer for this question from the choices is parallel. And that's how you can use the thumb rule to do holding pattern entries.